Okay, so this is the third attempt I'm making at this video. Something keeps happening where I start moving in slow motion and I don't know if it's recording it that way or not. So then I keep stopping it and starting over. So hopefully this time it'll work and if not, I guess there'll be a fourth time. But um, welcome to my channel. Um, I do Timu hauls and or at least that's what I've done so far. Um, I buy all of this stuff with my own money, although I do have a Timu sponsored box coming to me. Hopefully, well, maybe it, it may still take 10 days to get here. I don't know. But in the meantime, I've got plenty of stuff to look at because I've gotten several big um, packages in the last week and it's been overwhelming and I need to get through them. So I'm trying to do like back to back recordings. Um, but they won't, I'm not going to publish them all on the same day because then I'd be out of content for this channel and you'd be bored. Well, you wouldn't be bored. You'd just find someplace else to go, um, spend your time. And I don't want you to leave. <laughs> so, um, I'm here today. I've got, um, a basket full of stuff we're going to go through. Um, if you check out the description below, you'll see a link for the app, which is an affiliate link. So I will get $5 if you use that link. And But you get something in return. You get 50% off of your first order and you get $100 worth of coupons. So we both win. And then I play the games on Timu. So my Fishland and Farmland code are below. And then there will also be a link to my Google document that has all of my product listings for, for this video. All right, so let's get started. So this first thing that I got was a, I got this for free um, for finishing a game of Fishland. Um, normally you get two free gifts when you finish a game. My second free gift that I had picked out was a bog bag dupe and it was sold out when I finally won the Fishland game and so they gave me the option of picking something else or just getting a credit on my account for the amount of the bag and that's what I did. I took the credit. I think they gave me $16.79 or something like that credit for it. But I, this, this was the other one and I thought we'd, I've brought some salt down here although it's not rock salt so I don't know how well this will work but the idea with these is um, you fill them up with um, with the pepper and the salt. I don't know why I'm struggling here. With the pepper and the salt. And when you turn it over, it automatically grinds. You don't have to grind it yourself. So let's see. I thought we'd see if we can get that to work. But both of the containers look the same. Um, so I'm just going to pull out one. And it is battery operated. Um, okay, so we've got this, and if you turn the black part, well, okay, if you turn the black part, you get to where the batteries go. If you turn the silver part, you get to where the peppercorns or the rock salt goes. Oh, I should leave that open because I want to put some. All I had on hand was coarse um, kosher salt, and so... This may not work very well, but hopefully we can hear it trying to do something. But this takes six AAA batteries. So let me get those put in. And I would, I would kind of think that this, these batteries are like this. I feel like it would last a long time on these batteries because how often are you turning it upside down? to grind pepper and salt. All right. So let's see if I can get this back on here. Okay. Oh, hold up. Let's put it on the right way. Oh, okay. There are um, locked and unlocked. So you put it on, you match up the arrow with the unlocked and then you turn it to locked. All right. And then we'll just pour some salt in here. Oh. 
And I brought a little plate down so we could. So while this is coarse salt, it's certainly not the same as rock salt. All right, so we've got some salt in here. Screwed it on. Um, I don't see any power button, so let's just see. So it didn't really do much to this than what was already done, but it definitely. Now I will say because this is core or not rocks or peppercorns, a lot is coming out. So be careful that you don't over salt or over pepper your food. But yeah, I was super excited. I almost, I was gonna, when I first became aware of Timu, this was one of the products I saw right away. But I was like, oh, we, ha we have a container upstairs that um, it's like a converted popcorn seasoning container and that we put this kosher salt and flake pepper in and then we just kind of mix it up and we use that on a lot of stuff. So I'm like, would I really use this? But I think I would. But then, you know, when it became an option that was free with the game, I was like, oh, that's perfect. So, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. Um, so this, like I said, was free, but it is, if you buy it, it's 2148. So with the, so, okay, so that's 2148. And then the bog bag that was sold out, they gave me like 17 or so dollars. So you can see about the value of the prizes that you win when you win Fishland. And with Fishland, you also get a 30% off of no a thirty dollars off of a hundred dollars and a forty dollars off of a hundred dollars so you get those two coupons so that's bad for me when i finish a game because i definitely use both of those coupons and the ones for farmland the thirty dollar one is the same but the forty dollar one you have to spend 160 or 120. I don't know. You've got to spend, it's not a hundred like it is for fish land. And I think that's because they think farmland is easier to finish. But anyway, there's that. So I'm excited to, I need to, we usually do our Walmart grocery pickup on Saturdays, which is tomorrow. So I need to add some peppercorn and maybe some pink Himalayan rock salt. All right, next, let me get that, the rest of that out of the way. Okay. So I didn't bring them down here, but I ordered a pair of yellow tennis shoes in the kind of tennis shoes that I really like. And it said they were lemon yellow. So I ordered a lemon yellow or no, I guess it didn't, wasn't lemon yellow. I ordered a yellow shirt to go with it. Well, the lemon yellow shoes ended up, you know, when held up against the yellow shirt were a little oranger, so it didn't match. So then I made another attempt. I found a shirt that specifically said lemon yellow, just like the shoes, and got it and a hat and a purse. Don't match the shoes. <laughs> so I'm still striking out on that, but these are still cute in their own right, and I'll still wear them. <coughs> Sorry. But this is just like the green hat that I got on another haul. And it came with a plastic insert to help it hold its shape. And on the inside, it's it's um, thicker, sturdier here to help hold its shape. This one has a little bit different of a extender. So you open this clip and then you can pull this out and pull this a little bit farther. Um, yeah, a little bit farther if you need more space. Okay, so it's doing, okay, it just stopped. We're gonna have to see, I'm gonna keep going, but for me on what I'm watching, I just went in slow-mo over there for a second. So we'll have to see on playback. And if it is slow-mo, I'm sorry, I don't want to start over. <laughs> so this has got a nice rounded um, bill. 
but it's it's really pretty really pretty yellow so this was 388 and now it's up to 447 so to go with this well I've got the other yellow shirt that I already got that matches this and actually it has um, a flower like this on it so they'll match I like matchy matchy <laughs> but this is the shirt that said it was lemon yellow but it's almost exactly the same color as the other shirt I got and yellow isn't exactly the best color on me but it's bright and cheery just breathe this is kind of it's it's a very soft shirt um, I mean and it's stretchy this does feel like an iron-on so it may um, peel or crack going forward we'll have to see but I really like the um, dandelions and the pieces flying off of it so this is a 2x which is 16 size 16 in America and this is 95% polyester, 5% elastane, machine wash cold, um, no drying instructions, so we'll just dry it low. So we've got the shirt with the hat, and these match better in real life than they do on camera. Okay, and then we got a purse. Just a very plain yellow purse. Oh, and the shirt, the shirt was $7.89 and now it's up to $8.98. So like I said, a very simple, um, very simple yellow purse. Nothing on the outside two magnets to get it open. It's very stiff. It's stuffed with paper, which is nice. Help it not get crumpled. Oh. <laughs> All right, so here's the strap, a tiny, tiny little strap with this plastic chain. So I am going to tell you right now that I am not going to use this strap. I will, because it's got, um, oh, wait a second. Oh yeah. So this is just tied on. So I'll just untie it. It's not tied on on this side, which is kind of weird. Um, but I will just untie this side and then put my own strap on it. But if you were wanting to use this strap, is very strange why there's why there's chain on this end only like isn't that weird I don't know maybe that's just part of the design so um, and then inside is just a single compartment with no pockets so this is a good good size um, run around purse and I like that it's I just don't like the strap but I like that it's yellow and I can match I just really wish it went with the shoes so I'm gonna end up having to wear something that's not yellow with those shoes and it just has some kind of yellow accent in it I think all right, let me get this stuff out of the way. So the purse um, was six fifty four, and now it's up to six seventy eight. Next, these are kind of marketed as scrunchie holders. So it's got a um, double-sided tape that you put on here to stick it to the wall. So this is gonna go on my jewelry wall and I'll probably use one of these for, um, maybe more than one for scrunchies. But I was also thinking I might be able to use this for hats 
Now I do have an actual hat one of these coming and this may be too, the hats may be too heavy for this and this sticker, I don't know. But um, if I ever get my mirror put up on my jewelry wall, there will be space within the lights that I have going around in a rectangle to put a few of these up. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could use these for besides scrunchies. Maybe headbands might fit on this too, as long as they don't, you know, slide off. But I got a pack of five of these, but they come in one and three maybe also. Um, I paid $2.98 and they've been price adjusted down to $0.97. Cents. All right. <laughs> Next is another winter vest. I got a black and white plaid one on another episode. And this time I've got kind of a red khaki brown one and it's really soft on the outside. It's like the other one. It's kind of a brushed flannel kind of feel to it. Um, the inside is also like the other one so it um, feels more like um, couch couch furniture. <laughs> I don't know. Burlap is not right. Tweed, maybe, maybe that's more like it. Um, but anyway, it's just a simple vest that will, you know, kind of drape um, in the, the sides will kind of drape. And aside from the red, you know, some good casual um, neutral colors and some loose strings, but it's very thick. So this would be pretty warm, you know, if you're wearing it with a turtleneck or just a regular long sleeve shirt or short sleeve shirt, depending on what you like. But I kind of wish, I said this on the other one, I wish it was um, reversible because, you know, sometimes you might want more of this look showing on the outside instead of the brushed look but it's still pretty. I'm looking forward to wearing this as we start getting into fall with the leaves falling and all that. And then the back is the same. And then this was a 2X also. And where am I gonna find the tag? Is the tag on the top of this one? Hmm. I kind of think there is no tag. That's peculiar. <laughs> so in um, lieu of missing or having a tag, I guess I'm going to machine wash cold tumble dry low. Huh. I don't think I've ever gotten a clothing piece of clothing that was missing a tag. Um, so this, I paid ten sixty one for this, and this has gone up to twelve forty eight. I think now that we're getting closer to the season where this kind of stuff makes more sense, I think we'll see the prices go up just a little bit. But even still, twelve forty eight is still a good price for that. All right, next is part of my brown thumb series. More greenery. So I've got an area in front of my of the bedroom windows in front of my house that I'm trying to fill with things that don't need um, maintenance and so I have been buying over time pieces of greenery and um, solar flowers and solar um, well, like I got a, a, a rain, not a rain, a watering can in, a, in one and a lantern. So different things that just light up, you know, at night to intermix with these. But in order for the things to, that light up to not look so barren, I ordered 
greenery to kind of stick in the ground next to it to kind of pretend like there's bushes or whatnot. But all of these so far that I've gotten are mold bendable, moldable, whatever. So you can kind of, um, you know, pull them out or whatever. That's funny. So this, this little guy, I think, okay. So this is a little weird, but I don't know if you can see this little thing, but you can go up and down. So it's adjustable that way too, in case you want to have a bushier look. I wonder if the other ones did that and I just didn't notice, but it would help you get a fuller look to whatever you're trying to do. So this, these fern things came in a set of six and I paid $5.49 for them. So yeah, so they'll just kind of sit intermixed with the the other things and I'll just add to it over time but these things um, are weatherproof and fade proof so they shouldn't lose their especially if you put them out somewhere I don't have a lot of Sun but if you put them in Sun they're not supposed to fade so that's nice too and they won't die <laughs> so I don't know I just don't I don't like being outside it's hot and muggy where I live, and um, obviously with my I'm not I'm not getting a lot of sun, um, and I don't like bugs and bugs like flowers and stuff. So I'm like get away. All right, so um, I don't know if I said the price for that, so I'll say it again if I didn't, um, or if I did. Um, five forty nine, and it's price adjusted down to five thirty two. Next are some kicks, some pink ones. And I think actually these were labeled as light red. But this is the other style of tennis shoes that I like on Timu. It's not my favorite style, but I like it all the same. But because this is, um, much more rigid I get these in an eight and a half whereas the other tennis shoes I can get in an eight but um so this is a pretty light red color and pretty much once you have the rest of the laces through you wouldn't really have to tie them you could just knot them off on the sides and it's got a hard toe and it's got pretty good um, grips on the bottom. It does not have a built-in arch like the other ones I get, um, but it's still got a pretty, pretty good base. And then these are not as cushy as the other ones, but they are still cushy, just not as cushy. So yeah, so I see I've got a little bit of, I can cut that down so that um, because that'll bug me. The other one's not like that, is it? Oh, it is. Well, maybe, maybe that's part of the design. Maybe. So, anyway, um, yeah, so I also have, um, a few more pairs in this style coming. I just like having colored shoes. So, I've told this before on here, but I have worn black Crocs for almost two solid years, and that's the only shoe that I wore. Um, after I went through, I got them like right before I got COVID, and then after that, it was just like I didn't care anymore. You know, I was it was I was so tired, and but now that um, if I've been away from that, and I'm losing some weight with the moon jar that's helping my diabetes. I'm back into wanting to colorize my life. <laughs> so I got these. So yeah, so I think some, I think the sweater I got um, in the last haul might go with these, but anyway. All right, so those were $12.91 and now they're up to $14.63. 
All right. I have a couple coins in this order. Okay. <laughs> I did, did a speed thing again there. I really hope that doesn't come through on the video that you guys watch. But if it does, then that'll be a nice little comic relief um, <laughs> spot. All right. So I got two coins. I've been collecting replicas of coins, mostly from the United States, but I did get some on another haul that were, one was ancient Rome or something like that, and then one was um, Spanish. But these are both um, American. So this is the first one, and I've determined that they make them all too big so that they can't be um, accidentally confused with the real thing. And then here's the back, $1, and 1821 for this one. Um, and the price on this was 224 and is still 224 All right, this one looks like this, 1798. Um, I think it's Lady Liberty because there's a little sash next to her arm um, that says Liberty on it. And then on the back, we've got the eagle. And this one was a trade dollar, 420 grains, 900 fine. Um, so that's a little bit weird, but I thought I'd get my coin app and scan them and let's see what what it says about these i'm always curious you know for one if these were really real coins um and if so if you had a real one we you know what would it cost so let's this app is called coin snap if you happen to be an actual coin collector and you pretty much it gives you a, hang on just a second. Okay. My husband was calling from upstairs to my daughter and I, I didn't know how long he was going to continue. We, ha we usually have to yell to get their attention if, they're, if we're on different floors. So I was afraid that was going to continue, but he stopped. <laughs> All right. So like I was saying, the coin app, you, um, you take this and it's got a circle so you match oh i gotta i keep forgetting i have to actually take a picture of when i'm doing this but it's got a circle so you move you move the coin until it's in the circle and you take take a picture oh i need to redo that one and then you take the other side like so shaky and then it scans all right so u.s trade dollar they made it between 1873 and 1885 minus wait a second mine uh, is that the one i did yes that's the one i did <laughs> mine says 1798 so um i don't know how that fits in um, but let's just say, let's just pretend this is in mint condition. Perfect. What would it, what would they give us? Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. A million dollars. Really? So that's interesting. The last one I tried on here was worth two bucks if you had the real thing. So, all right interesting so let's try this other one did you get the right result well sure i did <laughs> all right cancel now let's go again All right, so again, this one was like a, it's like a guy wearing an Indian headdress that says Liberty. 
Um, <laughs> okay, maybe this app isn't that great. This says Costa Rica, 1967. So that's not right. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, I'm going to have to look to see if there's a better app out there because this is not... <laughs> So maybe this other one's not really worth a million dollars. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> um, the, okay, let me get these back out so I can show you. So for the prices. So this one, um, I paid two thirty six, dollars and it's currently sold out, but there are other sellers that have it with, for a different year. Um, so there's a lot of these coins, you can buy them in multiple different years. So it just happens that this particular year sold out. And then this one, um, I paid two twenty four, and it's still two twenty four. So even though this is junk, right? I mean, I don't even know what these are made out of, but it's still cool. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I can't afford to be a real coin collector. And don't say it's because I spent all my money on Timu. And if I didn't spend my money on Timu, I could get real coins because I wouldn't buy real coins. Not that it's, you know, terrible to buy coins because I do know, I do have some friends that are coin collectors. But that is not my style. All right. So next we've got um, acne fighting tool. This is a blue light pen. Um, 415 NM blue light for removing acne. 42 degrees warm treatment for lymph detoxification. So I've got a one of those light masks and it blue is one of the options on it although so far I've only been using red. Um, but I thought maybe this would be good for while I'm like sitting and watching TV if I've got like some acne that I wanna um, that I want to work on. So it's got instructions in English. Um, I'm gonna assume that there's spot for battery. Okay, there is. So it takes one double-A battery, which I do not have down here, so we cannot try this out. I need to put some in my battery box. So this just pops off, and the light will come out here, and you've got the power. Looks like it's just on and off. There's this back here, but it does not appear to do anything. And then let's see, does it say like how long? Ooh, this is a miracle home use acne fighting device. Easy carry and convenient use with lipstick size. That's a really big thing of lipstick. <laughs> and enables use at home or during traveling. So the blue light delivers benefits to diminish bacterium on skin and in pores, plus stable warm treatment and biocurrent to help to reduce oil of acne. It is suitable for acne skin. But it does not say how long to use it. Okay, let's see what this says. Okay, it says back here. Clinical proven by American medicine, it will experience the maximum reduction in acne lesion and symptom of inflammation after treatment with the special design light for eight times, two times every week or more, as well as reduce excretion of oil and shrink pores. Well, okay, so it's telling you that you can do it two times every week for eight times. Well, okay, that's confusing. Um, that's confusing messaging. 
it's and none of that said how long you can use it in one dose but anyway I guess if I fry off part of my face um, we'll know it was too long <laughs> um, I think I'll put this in my makeup makeup bag that I've got going right now and I don't see any reason to keep any of this because none of this was useful can you imagine using that for eight times but two times per week your acne is going to not last that long so i don't know maybe there's more instructions online but everybody's about the red and blue light right now so i figured i'd try it um, i paid 419 and it has price adjusted down to 377. all right this next item is a repeat buy I bought this in red before and now I'm getting it in green, but it's a very compact um, USB port and this side um, rotates out and then you've got the four. So I've got this in my, the other one in my work computer because it, computers nowadays really don't, you're lucky to get one USB port on it, but this um was 298 and it's price adjusted down to 269. But yeah, I love these. And then these are great for travel. I should have Why didn't I get this instead of this little well you can't aren't going to be able to see it, but I got this little Can I get it over? I can't get it over far enough. It's a it's a longer one that's got a cord that um has a spot for four on it, but this is definitely more compact. All right. Oh, I don't need to put it back in the bag. Next, some earrings. So this was a set of eight. And they're just the basic teardrop um, faux leather earrings so we've got this one and this one so i got these to go with my red polka dot dress but then it's also got black and white ones that'll go with some of those dresses because i've got a dress that has this design on it well, could wear that <laughs> So it's kind of weird, only one plaid out of all those, but lots of stripes and polka dots. Um, yeah, so, okay, so let me make some editorial comment here. So we've got the red and the black with the white background. And then we've got the reverse of that. So we've got these two, which, you know, reverse. But then we've got these. Where is the red, ver well, maybe that's the red version why don't I have one like this that goes kind of with this so anyway eight pairs and um uh, what did I pay for these um where are they teardrop earrings 539 oh these are sold out so I'm sorry but now they do have a lot of other um sets just like this but um, just not this particular grouping, or at least not that I found easily. But um, they're sold out, which means they'll come back. But yeah, so I was excited to get that. And I wonder, I should have had, I should have kept a bag down here, like the blue one for jewelry that I need to take upstairs. So it doesn't get all lost. Is that the only jewelry I have? I think so. Well, I mean, I've got more, but okay. So next, I guess we'll do another jewelry set. This is um, necklace and earrings, I think. Hang on just a second.
Okay. My, one of my daughters has started volunteering at a local animal shelter. Um, and I think she's, her, her shift starts soon. I think she said tonight she actually gets to train some other newbies, but she's doing it. Her school requires so many hours of community service to graduate. And so she is going to do it for that. I mean, she's doing it because she wants to play with dogs, and we don't have dogs, we have cats. <laughs> but, um, all right. So, I've gotten this before in red. This is the purple version, and they also have it in like a royal blue. But it's got corded, um, this is cords, very thin cords, and then this pretty silver and kind of resin um, pendant. And then the earrings look like that, which matches this part of the pendant. So these are, whoop, these are cute and um, Although I'm kind of surprised I bought these because I really don't have anything. Well, here I'm saying I really don't have anything purple, but I'm wearing purple, but this isn't quite the right color purple for this. So yeah, so these are cute. And this was $1.88 for this set. And it's sold out with my um, seller, but it's available with other sellers. All right, next. <laughs> okay, don't laugh. No judgment. I've talked about this on here before and like I didn't I don't understand how this works, but this is a waist trainer. So <laughs> um this is supposed to I think help help um, train your waist into an hourglass, which mine is definitely not right now because um, I'm gonna say because I've had children. And um, hang on just a second. Okay, by the way, this stinks big time. So anyway, I don't know exactly how it works, but it wraps around you and you use these straps to pull it tighter. And I don't know, I don't know, does this work? I mean, I see a lot of people with, and a lot of models like with hourglass figures and it's not that they're skinny everywhere. Um, so where's this gonna push everything? Is it gonna push it up and down? You know, I don't know. I don't know how this will work, but I decided I'd give it a try Nothing else seems to be helping that particular area, <laughs> so mm -hmm. we'll see. But, um, so this waist trainer was $5.67. It's price adjusted down to $5.48. I did get this in a 3X instead of a 2X because I, I thought it might be helpful to have a little, a little bit bigger. I don't know. Maybe that's like the opposite of what I should have done, but we'll see. Now, of course, I got to make sure I don't leave this Velcro exposed. But yeah, this really, really stinks. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, so, you know, I got those, um, those ones that were supposed to help shape your arm. And I think they were really more compression like compression socks, but for your arms. And actually I loved wearing them. I mean, it, my arms felt a lot better when I was wearing them to the point where I've actually ordered some compression leggings or socks or whatever. Um, I'd never experienced, I know they say, um, for diabetics and people that suffer with neuropathy that compression hose or whatever are good, but I'd never tried any, but yeah, I really liked it on my arms. Okay. So I told you the price of that, so let's go. All right, so 
This is more jewelry. Looks like I can see the opening. Um, okay, so these are the earrings. I'll take those out in a second. This is a necklace. It's all tangled up, but we'll get there. I will probably put some of my metallic um, closures on this. I mean, I pretty much do that with all of them because like I could do the clasp while it's in front of me, but I can't do it when it's behind me very well. And sometimes it's just hard. But it's a very shiny silver. Um, it's really pretty. And it's a good, um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. I mean, it, it's a good sturdy um, chain. So there's the necklace and then the earrings. Hold on, this one's kind of, there we go. Same thing as what was on the necklace. So yeah, really pretty, really good quality. And it was only $269 and it's price adjusted down to $239. So what a steal. All right, let me get these put back in here so I don't lose them. All right, one more thing. So this is sort of a repeat purchase, but this is a different style. So this is for watch bands. I didn't really like the one I got for watch bands before because like this one, you can see it's got space for six down there and six down there. But the other ones I got, it was like half of it was like just one big compartment. So I liked this better. And then I've got a strap down here. But yeah, I, and it's, it holds 12. So that's a good amount. Um, to hold the other one felt like it would really only hold like four or five so yeah so and this would work with um, Apple bands or Android bands and then this was 398 and it's gone up in price to 399 and this came in different colors too but yeah, I, I like this one a lot better than the other one. So the other one I will use for more electronics kind of traveling and, or, you know, just storage. All right. Well that, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep. Got it all. So, um, that brings us to the end of this haul. I've got another one that I'm hoping to do, but I'm going to go upstairs and chillax with the family for a little bit before they go off to the um, animal shelter. And um, I want to say thank you for watching this. I know there's a ton of Timu haul videos out there that are way better than mine, but I appreciate that you took the time to watch mine. And um, I'm not sure when this will air. I've been, because I've been kind of stressed out about all of the the quantity of stuff I've been getting. I'm just kind of recording all these back to back and um, I've got to get the price list created before I can publish them. And I'll probably, I'll probably space them out a little bit just so I don't run out of content um, before I have more stuff come in. But um, thank you. Um, if you clicked like, thank you. If you subscribed, thank you so much. That's um, I'm hoping by the time you see this, I will have crossed over that thousand 
um, threshold. I haven't yet in real time for me today, but it's I'm like 13 away. So um, I'm really I'm hoping that, you know, by the time you see this, I'll be there and we can all celebrate. <laughs> but thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk again later. Bye.